If you want the most stacked and legit NBA 2K20 accounts, make sure you guys go check out SportsTMB.com and use code your boy Sam at checkout. It's worth checking out, man. First link in description. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's go. Yo, yo, what's up, YouTube? We have a brand new badge glitch right now that's working. So if you want to upgrade your badges, I'm on this. If I was you guys, but this is the amazing badge glitch, man, that is currently working after the patch 8. But shout out to Dan Debra for this footage, man. He is amazing, man. Go check his channel out down below because he does post a lot of glitches. So check him out, man. And hope you guys do enjoy this video, man. I'm about to get on this before it gets patched, but I'm out. Now again, try to get the most amount of rep. That's why I say put on Hall of Fame. If you guys did the demigod glitch and you made your players five foot four, it's pretty easy. All right. Now again, on this player right here, I didn't do that, so of course I put it on pro five minute quarters, whatever. I was trying to get all my playmaking badges, so I just went for oops. Now, now what you want to do very simple, guys, is keep playing until you're in the last four seconds or ten seconds of the game. Now again, if you're in the bench, that's still fine. It doesn't really matter. It's whatever you guys want to do. So I kept on playing until I was in the bench, where I was watching the game for like three or four seconds. Now, if they put you in in those three or four seconds, just pause the game right there. So for here, I'm gonna fast forward to the part where I'm in the bench watching the game. So again, guys, try to get the most amount of reps. So if you're going for shooting badges, shoot hella shots. If you're going for playmaking, throw lobs and get assists. Now, again, if you're going for defensive badges, I don't really know what the hell the method for that one is. Again, if you guys want to do one, watch a video on somebody on how to get like the you know most amount of badge rep for you know for uh, defensive badges and rebounding and stuff like that, go watch it. But again, this is just to double or I guess triple times your um, you know your badge rep from this. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. Now again, while watching this video, guys, I'm gonna show you guys one thing that you cannot do is you're not able to play my career for 24 hours. All right. So what I recommend you guys do is do like multiple fouls. So do you know like 20 or 30 fouls? I guess if you guys want to. Um, but you cannot play my career like you know in those 24 hours and when the badge thing resets I'm gonna show you guys a little bit more in detail what I'm talking about I'm gonna give you guys a I guess a preview of what I'm talking about a little files about that thing again You guys do need a USB if you guys don't have one You're not able to do this little glitch now again You can do a little glitch with the online storage, but it's not gonna be as good All right guys, so keep in mind when you're doing this little glitch. It's not gonna work, you know that good if you do use um, you know online storage so I recommend you guys go USB again the Xbox there's no way of doing it over there I don't really know how to do it on the PC and the, and the switch I think there's a way of doing it but I don't really know I don't really have those consoles so again if you guys do this right here guys I'm almost at the end of the game um, I'm gonna show you guys what to do all right so once you guys are at the point where you're watching the game at the bench and stuff like that or you know you're playing the game with like three or, or like 20 seconds left you, all you guys want to do is very simple guys is just save and quit so right here i'm in the last couple of seconds of the game i'm in the third quarter they, they should send me down right right here they should send me down to like you know like the last two seconds of the game so i'm gonna f wait i guess until they do that it's take a little while i don't really know again if it says update required for you guys it doesn't really matter i should say that for me i don't know why but right here guys if you guys do notice there's only like 8.5 seconds left so very simple guys press start right here or press the options button and just save and quit that's one step number one do not click ask to sim out with the end with the little dub don't do that click save and quit once you guys click save and quit you're gonna go bring back into the little menu and i'm gonna show you guys what to do now again you guys do need a computer or a laptop or a tablet or something that can hold the file in all right it's super easy it's not even that hard again I recommend you guys do more than one file but in this video I'm only gonna do one file because you know I just want to show you guys it does work now if you guys do notice right here guys I'm in the little main menu now to do this little glitch guys it's very very simple it's not really that hard so now I'm gonna show you guys what to do all right so very very simple guys close out of this little app or I guess close out of 2k20 if you guys want to so close it first now go into two of the little settings now again, plug in your USB, of course, I'm sure you guys will patch, will patch them on 1.08. But of course, plug in your USB into the little thing right now. Go into settings, go into application save data management. Click on that. And then go into save data and system storage. Once you guys get done, click on that. There's gonna be two options that just pumps up, you know, upload to online storage or click on the USB storage. Now again, for this video guys, we're only doing the USB. So click on USB, and then click on 2K20. Now again, 
the fight you guys want to click on is the most recent one where it says all it should be all the way on the top the my career zero zero something now again for me it's my career zero zero one because i only have one file but again for you guys it should be different it should be like you know my career zero zero two three four five it should be the most recent one so click on the most recent one and then copy it over to your usb now again it should take a while i'm not for sure it just depends on the usb or the ps4 i don't really know to be on or i guess your internet speed i'm not really for sure on that but again if you guys want to check if it did copy over just to make sure and stuff like that i'm gonna show you guys what to do it's very simple it's just a little check so here go back out of this real quick and then go into i think it should say save data in the usb system storage something like that so see that it's a usb storage cop or delete or copy whatever 2k20 and right here you can see guys the file did transfer over to my usb so I'm going to show you guys what's the next step. It's very, very simple. It's not really that hard. Now I'm going to show you guys what to do next. So right here, very simple, guys. Unplug your USB and then plug it into your PS4. I mean, not PS4, your PC. Once you guys plug it into your PC, now this is where it gets, kind of gets confusing, but it's not really that hard. Uh, open your USB, go into PS4, and go into save data. All right, once you guys are save data thing, the most recent file, or it says like the days modified, the most recent one is your file or your number. All right, guys. So very simple, guys. Make a folder in your desktop or whatever and call it badge glitch or first game, whatever you guys want to call it. I call it badge glitch so I don't really get confused. So I got a badge glitch, click on that. And now once you guys have done that, open up the little, I guess the folder where it says save data and then move the most recent file from your USB into that folder. All right, so move it right here real quick. So once you guys do move it, that's it, you're done. Now you're, that's it, you're good, and you're good forever, to be honest. Now you're good, and now you're able to save files from your PC to PS4. Now I'm going to show you guys how to, I guess, basically activate them or something. I don't know how to explain it, but again, I'm going to show you guys what to do next. So here, delete all those files that isn't CUSA 616310, all right? So again, once you've done that, Go back onto ps4 and i'm gonna show you guys very simple just collect the rep you guys didn't collect so, so just hop on 2k20 and again just play your game or let the game play out to get the rep so again listen guys it's a very very simple glitch to do it's just a little bit time consuming so again i recommend you guys do more than one file for this to actually like you know actually be good a good ass glitch to do so again do like you know maybe like Maybe like I say 10 to 20 files. Again, that's just my opinion, what you guys want to do. But if you're making a new player, I recommend you guys do 10 to 20 files. So it's pretty easy. So right here, I'm going to back in the game with like, you know, I take a let it play out, whatever. And if you guys do notice, just remember the, how much bad drip I get for playmaking. All right. So here I'm in the final quarter right here, whatever. Let it load up. Now again, I'm going to show you guys it does work. It does actually work. So when I come back tomorrow... So right here, keep in mind how much my playmaking is at right now. So right now, my playmaking is at, you know, around, I guess, halfway almost in my playmaking. Now, again, in this video, guys, I did do two video, uh, two um, two files. But again, I didn't want to upload the second part of the video because of the fact that it's going to take way too long to upload and edit. So again, I'll make this video as short as possible just to get to the point. So here, I'm back at the second game. And now, once you guys are back right here, guys, you have to wait 24 hours to get the rep again from that raptors game so again if you guys want to do this or not i don't really know it's up to you guys i would say you guys should actually just do the glitch again for a second file third file fifth file again keep it in order so again just game one game two game three game four and the file thing it's very simple i'm gonna show you guys how i listed it in a couple seconds I'm going to show you guys what to do next. It's very, very simple. It's not even that hard. So again, this is after waiting 24 hours later. So I'm going to show you guys what happens after waiting 24 hours. Well, basically the bad trip you guys got for that first game or second game, whatever it is you guys were playing, it actually triple or eight, or I guess it doubles in rep. I'm not for sure how to explain it. But again, I'm going to show you guys back in my PC and move that file that you guys did save from the badge glitch onto the USB. All right. So again, you can store multiple files in this. Again, it's not just one or two. I recommend you guys do like, you know, 10 to 15. It just depends on how many guys want to grind. Again, just move that file into game one and just just keep it in order. So you guys don't get confused if you guys did game one or game two or something like that. So again, very simple, guys, just drag and drop that folder or that file into the USB. It's pretty simple. Watch the video a couple times. Yeah, I don't have to explain it that much. So click on the 841 right here. And again, just move the, you know, the file that's in that little folder, I guess, into that folder. It's really not really that hard against the CUSA. Move this one into the, the USB folder. 
where it says that same number and really it's that's it it's nothing else to do um i kind of explained it pretty bad right there but again just move the files over i guess to your usb folder it's not really that hard um you guys watch the video right here it's pretty easy it's not really you know rocket science so again go back to the ps4 go to save data and then you should see the file right there just copy over to your system storage and really that's it you're done with the glitch now when you go back into that same game you should be since it is for my first game it was the raptors so if you guys do remember on that first game for me it was like eight seconds left the raptors game and i just got put in or something like that i'm not for sure but again i'm gonna fast forward to that part again it should be like eight seconds or nine seconds left in that quarter so again if you guys do remember i got over i think eight thousand or seven thousand rep for that one game i'm gonna show you guys how much rep i do get as of right now so basically it actually doubled or tripled i don't really know I'm not really good at math, but again, it kind of doubled or tripled into that, I guess, for one game for some reason. I'm not for sure why I did that, but it's a pretty cool glitch. Again, it does reset every 24 hours. So right here, after I do this little glitch one more time, I have to wait 24 hours again for the, I guess, the rep to kind of again, I guess, basically. So right here, 45K for the badge rep right here. If you guys do notice, I got 25K for badges and playmaking, even though last game, if you guys remember, like I think yesterday, um, I only got 9K. So basically, this just does work as of right now. Basically, it triples or or I guess or I guess you get like a lot more rep. I'm not for sure how to explain it to be honest, but again, you get a lot of rep from this little glitch. Again, I recommend you do it before it does get patched. I'm gonna do it one more time. much for you guys so i was like you know i'll just cut it out and i'll fast forward this part of the video so again this is the second game right here for me so the second game for me was the charlotte hornets again i did show you guys i was doing my second game as well but i wasn't recording it so here if you guys do notice right here again i got a lot of rep and i did get a badge rep from this little game right